This is the bomb shelter in my home on Cape Coral, Florida. We use it as a storm shelter for hurricanes, tornadoes, and also as a storage room. My blue and gold macaw, Gilligan, survived Hurricane Wilma in there. We survived Hurricane Charlie. Uh, you can see more about Gilligan if you want to at myvids, that's M-Y-V-I-D-S dot two, the number two, Y-A dot com. That's myvids, M-Y-V-I-D-S dot the number two, Y-A dot com. And you can see him talking and doing all his tricks and a lot of other neat stuff that I've done, like air combat and everything. Okay, now here are the, here's the background on this thing. October 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Everybody in the whole world was so scared that they were running around building bomb shelters and fallout shelters in their backyards and onto their houses. If you remember, the subways were used as fallout shelters in the big cities, and school basements and things like that were designated fallout shelters. Well, this home has one built right in. From that wall to that wall is 14 feet. 14 feet. It's nine feet high. These these uh, dimensions are pretty important to the whole explanation. From from that corner to the inside of that door right there is 17 feet. Now the nine feet thing is important. That the door is five feet high. I'll show you that. I am six foot six. I'm six foot six. Six foot six, five feet. That door was two inches of solid, thick steel. Two inches of thick steel when, when we bought the house the, in, in the year 2000. The, the original door was still on there, two inch thick steel. Now, this is the roof. Three feet of roof, it's all concrete, block, and cement. Cinder block, 13, three feet from there to there. Now, why, and, and this wall length again is 17 feet. Why are those uh, dimensions important? Well, we come inside, and I'll tell you why. Remember, we use it as a storm shelter and a uh, storage room. There's your nine foot wall which is 14 feet on the outside. So if it's 14 feet on the outside and 9 feet on the inside, each wall is 2 and a half feet thick. Here's your 10-foot wall. That wall is the one that faces the patio. That wall, with this wall here and the hallway, makes uh, 14 and a half feet. That's where we get to 17 feet from, from this wall to the, the back of the patio wall. So 14 and a half feet and two and a half feet is 17 feet. That means this whole thing is the outside dimensions are 17 feet by 14. The inside dimensions of this room are nine by 10. And with this thing, 14 and a half by 10 with the hallway. Okay, now this, this feature over here, this thing right here is a hand crank air circulator. You put a crank on there, you turn it and it draws clean air in from the outside. That's how the, the guy planned on uh, getting fresh air in here. The blueprints for the home built in 1962, again, actually say bomb shelter on them. But we use it as a hurricane, storm room, tornado room, and a storage area. My blue and gold macaw, Gilligan, survived Hurricane Wilma in here. We've survived Hurricane Charlie. If you want to see the movie vids about my blue and gold macaw, just go to myvids.2ya.com. That's myvids, M-Y-V-I-D-S dot the number two, then the letters ya.com. You'll see Gilligan doing his tricks, talking. You'll see me, me flying air combat and a whole bunch of other neat things that we do around here in Cape Coral. Okay, that's that's my bomb shelter. I hope uh, our presidents uh, never get us in any uh, any situations where we might have to use it. But as you can see, we are ready down here in Cape Coral, Florida. Thank you, and don't forget to stop at that other site and see my uh, 
my videos about my bird. Now, that, that car, too, is for sale. It's a 1996 uh, Lincoln Town Car. Great shape. It's 19 to 27 miles a gallon. Great shape. The only reason I'm selling it is because I got married and my wife has a car. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, once again, visit that uh, website and enjoy.